Hi everyone, it's Kyle from Tutorlini Test Prep. I have something very special I want to show you today. I am here to announce my Digital SAT Math Orochento course. So, before we get started talking about the course, why don't I tell you a little bit about me? So let's see, so I, I studied chemical engineering and I minored in mathematics at University of Connecticut. And I also have a master's in mathematics education that I got from Rutgers University in New Jersey, which is where I'm from. I've been a full-time test prep and academic math tutor since fall 2019. I'm a three-time 800 SAT math score I'm an admin of the Facebook group, Digital SAT Prep. I highly recommend you check it out. You can ask questions, engage with other students and teachers from around the globe. And the URL is facebook.com slash groups slash digital SAT prep. I'm a member of the National Test Prep Association, which is a professional organization for test prep tutors to um, develop their skills and bounce ideas off one another. I, I'm definitely not, um, some kind of like, you know, m mastermind genius of the SAT, but it's fair to say that I know a lot about mathematics, education, and the SAT. A couple of fun facts about me. I, was a lifelong competitive swimmer for more than 10 years. I also coached for a little bit. That's kind of how I got into teaching. Uh, I love pets. I have two dogs. I love them very much. We, we, I love taking them on walks and playing with them. Um, having pets are, is, is a really cool thing. And I love video games. Um, I'm a really big fan of Nintendo and lots of stuff, but you know, those are just a couple fun facts about me and some of my history with tutoring and kind of how I got involved with the SAT. So what is the Orochento course? So, um, first of all, if you don't know, um, Orochento is actually uh, Italian for 800. And I named it that because uh, my business is actually um, and Italian like pun and I guess I kind of uh, I think it sums up kind of that idea of my my hope for this course is that you can learn every single thing you need to know to hopefully get as close as you can to an 800. So um, it's going to be a series of videos covering every concept tested on the digital ICT math test and I'm going to make as many as it takes. Each video will consist of slides with notes, examples, and a 10 plus question final review, which I will solve at the end of the video. <laughs> the 10 plus question review worksheet will be made of all original questions, and it will be made available for download for free. So um, you might find that just like five minutes of one of my videos talking about one particular thing. So for example, there's like five minutes of one of my videos about slope. You might feel like that's not enough for you to kind of learn and appreciate everything about it and get really good at it. So I'm going to try to make a conscious effort to leave like links to um, other YouTube videos, um, other places to practice like Khan Academy. And I don't just mean Khan Academy SAT. I mean like Khan Academy Algebra 1, Khan Academy Geometry, Khan Academy Algebra 2, all those kinds of things. And I'm going to try to link at least like five links in each video where you can go and get more practice on the skills and topics discussed in the video. <laughs> These videos are going to be a lot more planned out and organized than my more freeform videos. And these lessons are going to prioritize solving problems by hand, a lot like my test walkthroughs. Um, 
kind of the idea is you really need to get good at, even though you can use Desmos on the actual test day, um, you need to really get good at solving problems by hand because it kind of forces you to learn the content. And you need to learn the content if you want to get those really high end scores like 700 plus, 750 plus, because there's going to be questions, really hard questions that can't be done using the calculator, at least entirely, even something as powerful as Desmos. So in these videos, I'm going to be doing everything by hand at the whiteboard and the calculator is mostly going to be used for number crunching. So I made a quick like pros and cons list um, of why um, maybe why you should watch these videos and maybe why you shouldn't. So first and foremost, um, my goal is to make everything you need to know about the digital ICT math test, no more and no less, hopefully. These videos are going to be incredibly structured and organized. Um, if you watch my course, you're going to get a level of cohesion and consistency from just learning one person's perspective, right? If you go watch percents on one person's channel, and then you go watch exponential functions on another person's channel, those two people might have approached those two very closely related ideas in very different ways. And that can kind of um, make it harder to um, um, learn and um, learn harder concepts and kind of build on your foundation when you're learning from many different teachers. So kind of my hope is to like unify that through one person's singular vision and perspective. My videos will have many free extra practice problems in them, a lot of which I'll be writing myself. So even if you don't watch my video at all, if you just go through, click around and download the worksheet and then write down all the problems from the videos, um, you get a lot of benefit from that just because you know it's free practice, free similar to the SAT math problems. Um, straight from the video. So that's a huge plus in my opinion. And one benefit I think of one draw on my channel, I think is that I teach at a very slow and easy to follow pace. Um, lots of channels in the SAT math world, you'll, you'll see them, you know, like kind of um, go through a question sometimes in less than 30 seconds and you, you don't always appreciate everything that's that's going on so um, I think the slower slower pace is a, is a is a big benefit of watching my channel in general but especially this this course that is coming so um, a couple cons I came up with um, probably the biggest one is that I'm a very like logical and literal person and I rely almost entirely on muscle memory to solve SAT problems. And this may not be for everyone. You might be the kind of person that likes to um, improvise. And um, that's, that's, that's not how, I, I do do that sometimes, but for the most part, I, I tend to think um, very logically and like, okay, like what concepts are in the SAT syllabus? What is this testing me on? keywords, plan, execute. Um, I don't really change things on the fly a whole lot. Um, so that might not be for you. Similarly, um, I, I, I do have a degree in math education, so um, I, I'm not going to um, informalize anything. I have a very proper, you know, I'm guilty of it sometimes, but for the most part, I have a very proper mathematical vocabulary. So, if you don't like um, learning from a teacher that has a very like uses very like proper mathematical vocabulary, like refers to theorems and question types by their proper name, um, my channel might not be for you, <laughs> or at least this course might not be for you. And. The other big drawback is that because these videos, I hope, are going to be higher quality, they are going to take longer to make. So it might, it's not going to be like my Desmos videos where I could just sit down and everything will be done in like an hour. Um, 
I, I'm, I'm probably going to have to spend many hours on every individual video, um, making the slides, writing the questions, making a plan for, for what might be like a 30 minute to hour and 15 minute lesson each time. That's going to take me a lot longer to do. So that's going to be another drawback. Hopefully the mass, hopefully the benefits, um, outweigh the pros outweigh the cons. So I really want you guys to let me know your thoughts, what you think of this idea. Um, please comment on this video and the first couple of lessons when they come out with your thoughts. I'm making the first video in the process. I hope it's up by the end of the week. So don't count on that, but hopefully it will be in the next four ish days, five ish days. Um, so please comment on this video and the next couple to let me know your thoughts. Um, ideas that you have, questions, concerns. I want to hear it now so that I can, if I need to, I can change things while it's early on and not just months later once I've made many, many videos. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The mission with this course, as with almost everything on my channel, is to democratize test prep as much as possible by providing free resources for those in need. I hope that when I'm done with this, this massive endeavor will be a labor of love that two to four years from now, any student can boot up my channel and learn every single thing they need to succeed on the digital SAT math test. And my favorite thing about this job and everything I do in teaching is that I can bring people together. I have people from the YouTube channel coming to my Facebook group. I have people from the Facebook group coming to my YouTube channel. I have other teachers reaching out to me through the YouTube channel. It's helping me expand my professional network and my network of friends. And it's a really awesome thing. Lastly, thank you so much for your support. I, I, I haven't really made a video I, I i i life has been so busy that i i haven't really been able to do like um um any kind of like thank you or like subscriber special or anything like that but um thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos i i can't even believe this in like what like nine months or something i'm already like a youtube partner i'm already in the youtube partner program like I'm already like a legitimate YouTube channel. That is crazy to me. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know how to edit videos. I don't think I've edited a single video and it, everything is just all one take. And still there's people just in, fly, in droves, like coming to my channel, watching one video and subscribing. And I just can't tell you how much that means to me. So, so thank you so much for your continued support and all the kind comments. Um, it really does fuel me to make more content to, help you guys study and succeed. All right. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.